Good morning, GC. I'm Logan Whaley here with Marcy Williams to bring you today's news. Congratulations to the GCHS co-ed cheer team for winning the regional championship this past Saturday. This team will be competing for the state championship this Saturday in Lexington, Lexington at 455. The best Christmas pageant ever will take the stage this weekend at the Purchase Players in Mayfield. Several students in our school district are involved with this play and they would love for you to come see them. The shows run this weekend only, Friday at 7 p.m., Saturday at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m., and Sunday at 2 p.m. Visit PurchasePlayers.com for more information. Today's art club meeting will end at 4.30. The pep club meeting has been moved to Friday, December 18th in room E34. The book club Christmas party in the library on Monday, December 14th after school. All book club members are welcome to attend. Please bring a two liter or some chips. Also, book club t-shirts are $10 each. Come by the library to get yours. Stop Club will meet this Friday in the library starting at 8.50. Attention seniors, be on the lookout for senior salute information. The Aquila is now accepting online salute submissions. Please check your mailboxes and make plans to order your senior salute today. If you have questions, please see Ms. Hunter in B05 or email her. Salutes are due on or before January 29th. You can also design your salute online at jossens.com. Any student wishing to earn community service hours or just to do a good deed, see Ms. Horn or Ms. Colley in the Youth Services Center to sign up to ring Salvation Army bells during the holidays. The campaign has already started and will take place on Friday evenings and all day on Saturdays until December 19th. Locations will be Mayfield Walmart and Mayfield Food Giant. Ringing bells is sure to get you in the Christmas spirit. Ring with a friend or family member and double your fun. This week, GCHS will be hosting free ACT workshops. Today will be English with Miss Cooper in room B18. Tomorrow will be reading with Miss Custer in room B17. And Thursday will be math with Mr. McMillan in room E23. All credit recovery must be completed to attend prom regardless of grade level. If you are currently enrolled, please work to complete so that others can enroll. Also, a reminder that all credit recovery work not completed by the end of this school year will be lost because the district will be changing computer programs. This means that you will have to start a class over if you do not complete and earn the credit this school year. Juniors and seniors interested in leadership opportunities need to visit hlby.org to find out more about the Advanced Leadership Academy to be held July 7th through 12, 2016 at Loyola University, Chicago Lakeshore Campus in Chicago, Illinois. For all LEO Club members who have paid their dues, a LEO Club t-shirt sign-up sheet is available on the outside of Ms. Parrott's classroom door, room B06. Please sign up for a t-shirt with your name and t-shirt size by this Friday. During the break, Brady Weatherington gets you pumped for tonight's game. Plus, Carson McKee and Kendall Tucker share a message on the dangers of leaving your shoes untied. Hey GC, last night our Lady Eagles played the Carbondale Lady Terriers in the Massac County Shootout. They fought hard but fell 45 to 54. Lindy Qualls led the Lady Eagles with 13 points and 8 rebounds. They will travel again to Massac County to play against Paducah Tillman. Tip off is set for 615. Good luck ladies. The bowling teams had some success this past weekend at the Crimson Baker Classic. Chelsea Carwright shares this preview of our Eagle and Lady Eagle bowlers. Strike one, two, three, turkey. Wait, this isn't baseball, it's bowling, and our Eagles are about to take over. The boys and girls teams were both regional champs last year and hope to defend those titles and take state. I caught up with head coach Jimmy Latta to gauge his thoughts on the upcoming season. We do have a, a few seniors this year. Um, and I think they're going to be very competitive. Uh, we got a couple of some good young uh, freshmen, sophomores coming up. 
It's going to really help us. Coach Lida believes senior Chandler C is the anchor for the boys team and expects him to advance to the state in the singles portion. Uh, my goals for this year are to win regions and go to state and I feel like our toughest opponent is going to be McCracken. Senior Sarah Watts and Katie Cathy are expected to lead the girls team to a fifth regional win. My biggest goal is to improve as a bowler and a leader on the team. And I believe our biggest opponent this year is going to be Davis County. As you can see, the main theme for this year is high expectations. You have to get on the lanes and practice, um, put your mind to it, motivation. So we're trying to get to that next part and, and let's bring home the state championship. For GCTV, I'm Chelsea Cartwright. Both bowling teams host the Massac County tonight. The match starts at 4.15 at Spare Time Lanes. Also tonight, our Eagles will host the Murray High Tigers in the Eagles Nest. There will be a, this will be a rematch of last year's regional semifinals. Tip-off is set for 7.30. Come out, wear blue, and support GC Nation. That's all we have for today's sports action. For GCTV Sports, I'm Brady Weatherington. Eagles today it's sunny out with a high of 62 and a low of 47. Tomorrow is mostly cloudy with a high of 60 and a low of 42. And Thursday is also mostly cloudy with a high of 65 and a low of 51. For GCTV, I'm Brandi Newton. academic team needs your help. <laughs> if you are one of the top students in math, science, social studies, language arts, or fine arts, then you need to participate in this year's Governor's Cup competition to win prizes for yourself and to represent your school. Tryouts for this year's Governor's Cup written tests will be held this Thursday and next Thursday, December 17th in the library. <laughs> See Ms. Valmar, Ms. Howells, or Mr. Krug for details. The Kentucky Commissioner of Agriculture, James Comer, will be speaking to the young Republicans after school on Thursday at 3.15 in the library. Everyone <laughs> is invited to attend. Graves County High School basketball season tickets are on sale to the general public. Season tickets provided minutes to all home games, excluding postseason tournaments. They're priced at $65 for chair back seats and $45 for chair back seats above the rail. Tickets may be purchased at Graves County High School's main office or at the athletic director's office. To learn more, phone him at 270-328-4884 or 270-674-4884 or email christian.elliot at graves.kyschools.us. Only one Thursday le Tuesday left until Christmas break. Shop the GCHS school bookstore during your lunch for some great gift and stocking stuffer ideas. New crew neck sweatshirts have just arrived. Also, there are some great gifts for the little eagles in your family. Visit today. The coffee shop will be closed during lunch, but the perch will still be open during breakfast and break. Attention Beta Club members. Remember to turn in your Domino's Pizza fundraiser money or extra cards into Miss Robinson in B08 by this Friday. The December FBLA meeting will be this Friday, December 11th, in the gym on the right side upper deck. All members should attend. The application deadline for the 2016 GSE Summer Program is next Friday, December 18th. The online application can be found at KentuckyGSE.com. For more information, contact Lisa Mathis in the Guidance Office or Seniors Jake Lagovia, Jake Waldridge, or Macy Youngblood. If you are a DECA member and plan on competing at the Regional Conference at MSU on February 2nd, your permission form and conference fee is due to Ms. McKee no later than Friday. 
And that's all we have for today. For GCTV, I'm Logan Whaley. And I'm Marcy Williams. Don't forget to pack the Eagle's Nest tonight, GC Nation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.